Police are carrying Narcan, teachers are carrying Narcan, nurses and clergy and parents also carrying Narcan. Colorado has given out more than 100,000 doses of Narcan or Naloxone to reverse opioid overdoses, but the state doesn't know how often it's being used by law enforcement, who are often the first of the first responders. Mark Salinger reports on a plan to change that. We know Naloxone saves lives. What we don't know is just how many. Give out a lot of Naloxone but what's happening with it. Cities pass it out for free. Police officers carry it everywhere. But when it comes to keeping track of how it's used, well, pretty much no one knows. Rob Valick is the director of the Center for Prescription Drug Abuse Prevention at the University of Colorado. But we really don't know necessarily for all the naloxone that we as a state purchase and distribute through different channels, how often is it used? Who used it? What happened? Did, did someone's life get saved? Did it not work? The state bought more than 124,000 doses of naloxone from July of 2021 to June of 2022. That's up more than 1,000% in just two years. Still, even with the millions of dollars spent, no one knows how or even if it's being used. We've got this blind spot that we need to close. Valak created an app called OP Rescue that gives anyone the ability to keep track of how naloxone, or Narcan as it's commonly known, is used. Some police departments use a similar app, but even for the limited number of people in departments that do keep track, it's hard to know if the numbers are even accurate. Take Colorado State Patrol, for example. From the beginning of 2020 through June of 2022, there are only 12 documented uses of naloxone. That may be true, but even Valak finds it hard to believe. It's impossible that that's accurate. It's, it's an undercount. Right now we don't have good real-time access to that data, but there's a lot of stuff in the works to make that happen. Rick Brandt is the chief of the Evans Police Department. He's the reason that more than 200 departments around the state have naloxone. But even his department only now signed up for the app to start keeping data. We need to find a way to have real-time access to this data so public health and harm reduction can target those areas and bring resources in where they're seeing spikes. No one is arguing more naloxone is a bad thing, but keeping track could make a big difference. We have limited resources and we need to know where to target them to save the most lives. These apps that help keep track of where people are overdosing and using naloxone are used more frequently in other parts of the country. In fact, Washington and Baltimore use it to keep track of overdose spikes in certain neighborhoods so they can distribute resources in a better way. In that sense, Colorado is way behind.